Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. We are here at my pop-up shop, trunk show. It's Thursday, March 14th, and we are hosting an event here, a local event here in Cleveland at Kilgore Trout, which is a high-end men and women's clothing store, which we've shopped for years at, and Laura, who is on the Emily on Bows team, used to work here, so so many connections. Um, we will be here from five to seven, so we just set everything up, and I wanted to share my outfit with you guys as well before things got started we have some champagne some products and this is what I'm wearing so this is my look for the event I have this fabulous dress on which is so cute black and white um, because obviously I had to wear my colors my bow gold necklace my bow gold bracelet this will focus my gold bow earrings um, and then I just accessorized with my own jewelry. This dress is actually from Amazon, so I will leave a link down below if you guys wanna check it out. And then I'm just wearing it with a little kitten heel. Um, so this is the look for today. We're so excited to host this event. Before everything gets started, I'm going to share with you guys the setup. It looks really good. We kinda of just integrated it with the store format which is great so this is where we are set up in the store queen anne is setting everything up so i'll just start down here we have these amazing plastic champagne flutes and they have the bow on them which is so cute my mom did this earlier today we have a little champagne we have our faux hydrangeas some champagne chilling we have our in good company napkins um and yeah these are so cute adorable and then here is the setup we have some stationery we have our bow candles we have some fresh coffee our mugs um, we have the carafes all of our jewelry toiletry bags scarf bow mask mugs and the bow tote so it overall just looks so great and then we're here in the store that's the men's section and then the women's section, mom is gonna wear her scarf tonight. They sell Veronica Beard, Lejeune's, um, Rag and Bone. They just have such gorgeous pieces. It's seriously the most stunning store. There's Laura and Rory. And yeah, the whole place just looks great. And um, we also have our photographer, Amanda, coming tonight, which is exciting. She shot the launch party and obviously the collection products. So she's gonna come again tonight to take some pictures, which is so wonderful to capture the evening. So that's pretty much my update for right now. I will recruit someone to vlog throughout the evening and um, share pictures. I think, yeah, I like that. Maybe just loosen it. Yeah, no, no, I think that's good. That's pretty mom. That looks really good. Love it. Okay, so I'm gonna get some pictures on my phone and then I will talk to you ladies once we get started. Hello friends, happy Friday. We just filmed a little drinks with dad in honor of St. Patrick's Day. So I'm wearing this just delicious green sweater from J. Crew Factory. Um, we made Irish coffee, so be sure to check that out. I'm gonna sit down because I wanted to catch up with you guys. Last night was so much fun. We just had the very best time at my pop-up shop at Kilgore Trout. It went so well, and it was just a lovely evening. So we just had such a great time last night, as I was saying. Um, we had the pop-up shop at Kilgore Trout, and it was just such a lovely evening, shopping and sipping and having a lot of bows around us. So overall, so much fun. And I've actually been waiting to get the pictures back because normally our photographer just hands over the SD card, which she did last night. But the card that we used, I don't have like an adapter for. So I texted her today and she's so sweet and she's actually swinging by shortly to drop off the adapter. I think she's just gonna give it to me. Um, so then I'll download the pictures and post those on my Instagram. But we are heading into St. Patrick's Day weekend like I said just some little drinks with dad today was kind of all over the place I was doing like computer work in the morning dropped off packages um got something from J. Crew today which was actually so sweet and cool and um then like I got ready I filmed a few reels and then just filmed the drinks with dad I'm actually going rock climbing later today which is 
kind of hilarious. There's a group of us, somebody suggested it and I was like, yeah, absolutely, I'll go. And then I had to like sign a waiver for it and I texted them and I was like, wait, is this like serious? Cause I have a busy week ahead of me. So anyway, we're going rock climbing pretty shortly. Um, so I'm just gonna wrap up some things before the weekend officially starts. And on Sunday, we're walking in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. I'll probably end up wearing like this sweater again. I wore this all day last Saturday today for the real, and then I'm gonna wear it Sunday. So I'm getting my use out of my J. Crew Factory sweater. So I'm just gonna continue to vlog the rest of the weekend and share what I get up to. Hi girls, heading to rock climbing. It's like 4.45, um, everyone's meeting at five. So I just went with all black athletic clothes. This is a little Canada Goose from, it's not mine, it's one of the girls. And then I did my crossbody Prada. I have leggings and on clouds. So I'm feeling kind of casual, but um, successful day of filming. I also brought an outfit to change into in case we go out or like go to a nicer restaurant. I'm not gonna wanna be this in this all night. So yeah, looking forward to this evening and I will try and get some clips from rock climbing. Honestly, kind of a good idea and like fun activity to do to like switch things up. So I am excited. We are rock climbing right now. The boys are doing it and then I got scared. Okay, happy Saturday, a little deja vu. I'm basically in the exact same outfit that I wore last week. So today is the Saturday of St. Patrick's Day. We weren't gonna do anything because we have a huge day tomorrow, but then everyone woke up and it is like the most gorgeous day, 70 degrees and sunny. And I was, I'm not gonna lie, we all kind of felt a little FOMO, so we're going out. This is what I'm wearing. I, my hair like had to be washed, which I never like wash and then go out the same day. I have something in my eye, oh my God. Um, but I quickly washed my hair. Earrings are Amazon, the same little J. Crew factory sweater I wore last weekend. I'm also gonna wear it tomorrow. I'm really getting my use out of it. I actually love when I like buy pieces and I wear it a million times, especially if it's like for a theme. This lady jacket is old from J. Crew. It's last year. In fact, it had this huge stain on it for the longest time, and then I think my mom eventually got it out, which is so exciting because I love this little jacket. I will try and link similar ones because it's just so cute. Like, especially for me, this is kind of like what I wear going out. My favorite bag for the spring, this Dust Tree bag. I got so many compliments. I'm literally wearing what I wore last week, but that's okay because it's different people. And then my fave jeans from Abercrombie and my Samba. So <laughs> this is kind of like my spring uniform for going out, but I will hopefully get some clips from today. I'm going to head there, have a little bop around. We're not gonna be out super late today because like I said, we're walking in the parade. Or I don't know if I said this, we're walking in the parade tomorrow. And we have a few parties to go to, like, with family and my parents. So it will not be a late night, but we have to take advantage of this wonderful weather. and welcome back happy Tuesday continuing this vlog um, it is the depths of March let me tell you it has been a good start to the week yesterday we really just took some time to recover from the weekend right away in the morning I had a physical therapy appointment which I've been going to with my mom um, it's that was my second time going and she worked on my shoulder and it just feels so much better Like the relief that I feel immediately after leaving is incredible Um, I just sleep really weirdly on my shoulder and I think just like all of us, you know Kind of being hunched over all day, maybe on a computer or sitting at a desk You just get sore. So I loved going my shoulder feels a lot better it's still like a little tender to the touch but definitely much better and then my mom and i um ran a bunch of errands made lots of returns and then we ended up cleaning out like claire's bedroom which is kind of our studio and then we also cleaned out elizabeth's closet because she's coming home this week for spring break today is tuesday i did some computer work in the morning and then i shot a few 
reels because we got a bunch of really pretty new arrivals from J. Crew, and then I just did some other looks. So I wrapped that up and then I took some packages to the UPS store, went to CVS, grabbed a coffee and then came back. And Queen Anne, unfortunately, is actually not feeling well. So my grandma stopped by over today because she just got back from Palm Beach. Um, they were there for two weeks. So she came over, saw her, and then now I'm upstairs. I'm in like my comfies because I just changed into this after filming, but she's resting on the couch. We are fingers crossed, hoping that she feels better, especially because we leave Friday for Palm Beach. Right now she's saying it's a scratchy throat, but she decorated for like Easter this morning. Um, she did a bunch of packages like orders and just a few other things when she was still feeling good because she could she could feel herself like getting worse as the day went on. So she had a really like busy productive morning. So I was like, just rest on the couch. I went and got her a medicine ball and I'm hoping that she wakes up tomorrow and is okay because Laura usually comes on Wednesdays, but worse comes to worse is that we just cancel and she rests until we leave for Florida. So that's kind of what's going on right now. Um, I am going to just continue this vlog. I really wish I had some more interesting things to share with you ladies, but there's not much going on. Honestly, we had such a busy week last week. I had something every night, Sunday to Sunday. So I am taking it easy this week. I did not schedule. I have one thing on Thursday night that I'm going to do before we leave for Florida, but that's been planned for a while. Um, there's a new restoration hardware opening up in the Cleveland area. It's like 45 minutes from where we live, but relatively close. So they are having a grand opening for it, and I was invited. So I think I'm definitely going to go to that because it's just a fun new space. It's just so cold outside and gray and just I cannot wait to get to Palm Beach and get to Florida. It's coming at the perfect time. Also behind me, I just got a new Veronica Beard blazer. I ordered myself just the classic black Veronica Beard blazer with gold buttons. I, as you all know, Veronica Beard and Lejeune's probably are like my two favorite, more expensive higher end brands. And I have three Veronica Beard blazers one was gifted to me from Veronica Beard, and then two are older, and I think my mom got them on sale for me. And then um, another one I've been wearing is actually Elizabeth's, and they got it like 70% off in Charleston because Veronica Beard was having a big sale. And then I sometimes I put my mom's on, and I'll just like use my mom's. But I don't have like a classic black blazer in general, and I just wanted to invest in... A really nice blazer that I will have for the rest of my life. Um, definitely investment pieces, Veronica Beard. They are on the more expensive end. There are lots of other options, obviously, that you can totally get as far as black blazers go. Um, I just love the brand so much. So I did just get this new black blazer. So it's hanging right there because I took it out of the box. And um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to wear it tomorrow. Fingers crossed if Anne feels well and Laura comes over with my silk scarf, um, with our Emily Elbow silk scarf. Also, like my working gals, that's just something that you will have for the rest of your life and they are just incredible quality. They are seriously, I think they're a little overpriced, but I love Veronica Beard, so. But speaking of Veronica Beard, we just placed an order at Zara for some spring pieces uh, that I wanted to show you ladies because they are some really great finds. And I just find Zara pieces to be so interesting because Zara is relatively reasonably priced. Like, they're not super outrageous, but you can find some amazing pieces. So I did want to share that in this vlog. Like I said, I don't have much going on this week. Um, I'm living, literally living for Palm Beach. I'm so excited for that vlog. It's going to be amazing. I was actually looking back at my old Palm Beach vlog from last year because usually we go in January if you're new here we go in January over my sister's winter break like usually for the past few years it's been in January because Miami University which we all went to has this really long break called J term but because we went to Ireland we decided to push it back and go to Palm Beach for spring break and I haven't been to Palm Beach in March since my sophomore year of college so I just kind of like how we switched it up because January, I feel like we can still like hunker down and be cozy because it's still winter vibes. But this, I'm really needing some sun. So I'm particularly excited. What was I going to say? 
Oh, I was looking at the blog from last year from Palm Beach and it got like a lot of views and I feel like I definitely put effort into it, but I wasn't like, I didn't kill myself to make it like the most incredible vlog. So I really want to put effort into the Palm Beach vlog and just make it more of an escape for everyone and myself for memory purposes. So um, that was a good reminder to like look back and see how many people enjoyed that video in that place particularly. So let me show you the Zara stuff because there is nothing else going on. Okay, I just switched my sweater because I had some coffee on my other sweatshirt and then I like put some water and it did come out but I had this like water stain on my sweatshirt and I knew if I was watching it back and I had this little water stain, it would annoy me. So I just put another comfy cozy little sweater on. This is actually from Amazon. It is like the most delicious blue I love. You could kind of open it. This shirt doesn't really go. It's just a little striped tee, but I like it um, zipped up a bit more. So anyway, let me share what I got from Zara. I think my mom also ordered a few items. This is a medium and it's this really pretty navy sweater with these gold buttons and it's also piped in white on the sleeve. So I think this is for Anne, just a really great basic or or one of us because it does seem to run really small and then it kind of has like this v-neck so that's super cute um i think elizabeth mentioned to my mom that she wanted like a longer skirt to bring to palm beach so my mom found this blue one i'm really interested to see how this is going to lay and look on but this is definitely for elizabeth next we ordered just to kind of test out this is a medium so i think this is for and um, a blue and white striped Oxford. Also, I know someone's gonna comment. I do call my mother mom. Sometimes I just say Anne when I'm filming or recording. So you guys, I don't know why. It, I do call her mom. Anne is my mother. <laughs> we just like refer to each other as that, as a, like a joke. Because when we were little, Claire, my older sister, like when she was really little, like a toddler, for some reason, she didn't call my grandma um, Grammy. She called her Joyce, like when she was like three. So it's always just kind of been this like joke because Claire used to call my grandma Joyce. So we call her Anne. I don't know, it's like a family thing, but she is my mom. Um, I saw like a few comments on my YouTube videos from the past videos and it was like, guys, it's, I, I call her mom. So, Anne shops at Zara sometimes and I'm really excited to see how this looks on. I love the royal blue um, and pretty good prices as well. I think this is another blouse for, yeah, this is a medium. Zara has really great silk blouses that always come in a plethora of different patterns and they are very similar to the Lejeune's silk blouses that my mom loves to wear either on its own or underneath blazers and sweaters. So she usually stacks up on a few Zara blouses and it looks Looks like she ordered a brand new one. I love this really pretty fuchsia pink color. It has this gorgeous like watercolor floral print on it. I actually haven't gone through this box so you're getting my... Wow this is pretty. I think this is also for my mom. This is a medium and it's like this really cool half t-shirt half Oxford situation but it's all connected. I really like that. What else do we have? Hopefully none of this was gifts. Okay, this is also a medium. Oh, this is clearly for Anne as well. This is like a mom haul. This really cool blouse. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. This is gorgeous. This pink color, it's kind of one shoulder. Beautiful. It looks like she got another blue blouse in that same pattern that we saw on the skirt. This one's definitely for my mom. Wonderful. My mom found these incredible bow slingback nude heels, which are just so fabulous. In fact, I've been needing like a good nude shoe, especially when I like film different looks. I feel like that's always kind of like a weak spot. So she found these. I'm definitely going to take them to Palm Beach. In fact, I might wear them to my um, trunk show and they were $45.99. And I like Zara shoes. They, they do hold up. The last few pieces from Zara, these are really good. So we found this blazer which we're so upset because it's missing a button let me put this on for you so you can see it okay so let me just show you look how fabulous this blazer is i'm so upset because it came without a button and this one's also loose and there doesn't seem to be a button like in the box because we would just sew it and like zara doesn't give you like an extra button how some brands do but it's so gorgeous. It fits like a glove and it's like the perfect light blue for spring. So I think we're gonna have to return it 
and order a new one, which is kind of a bummer because Zara takes forever to receive. Also, I don't really make a commission off of this Zara stuff. I'm honestly just showing it to you guys because um, I love it and it's new and it's fresh and it's reasonably priced. Um, but isn't this beautiful, especially for like my working gals? Like, and this is honestly like the difference between a Veronica Beer Blazer and a Zara. You know, obviously the buttons stay on and or they'll give you another button. Um, but great options if you need some new workwear. So this is what this looks like. We're going to have to return it, unfortunately. But I do love it. So Veronica Beard has this really cool, it's called a long line vest. So I've been wanting to test one out for the spring slash summer. So when I saw this on Zara, I knew I had to have it. It fits perfectly. I already did try it on and I'm going to wear this to my trunk show in Palm Beach. If you're a bride, I also thought this would be so good or for graduation, like if you maybe wanted to be like a little different and not wear a graduation dress and do like a matching set, this would also be so cool. So this is what the top looks like. And I love how it's like this raw hem edge. And honestly, this is so similar to the Veronica Beard long line vest that they have. It's a tweed material, it's sleeveless, and then the buttons are like this super pretty crystal. And then it has, the pockets are not... Yeah, no, the pockets are not real, so they're faux pockets, but that's fine. Um, I ordered it in a size small, and it fits perfectly. The top is, I think, okay, so it's $89.90, so, like, it's not terrible, but it's still probably more expensive than I thought for Zara, but, again, this does fit me perfectly. And then it did come with matching white pants, which also just fit to a T, and these are so gorgeous. Um, so this matching set, like I said, I'm going to wear to my trunk show. And then I think I'm going to wear these bow nude heels. Like so chic and cool for Palm Beach. And then what's great about this set is I could wear this with jeans separately. So wear the top and then wear it with jeans and like a cool shoe just going out as we move into spring. So I kind of want to order some more of these vests from Zara just because I feel like they're doing them very well. But I'm super excited about my outfit for the trunk show. So we leave for Palm Beach on Friday. And then on Wednesday, March 27th, from 2 to 5, I am having an Emily on Bose trunk show at Jay McLaughlin on Worth Avenue, which is so exciting. This is the second of four pop-up shops that we are having. Um, I cannot wait. I can't believe I'm having a pop-up shop on Worth Avenue. Like, to me, that's just mind-blowing. Um, so we will be traveling with the products, shipping some items down, and we will be there all afternoon. I'll be in my white set. It's myself, Claire, Elizabeth, and my mom. So all four of us will be there, and it's just gonna be a time. So if you are in the area and you are available, we'd love to see you there to even just chat and hang out um, and enjoy the beautiful Palm Beach weather and get out of this Ohio coldness. It's just crazy. One last exciting thing, J. Crew sent me a new item. I never know when stuff is coming from J. Crew, and then it just arrives and just the sheer excitement that I feel is completely unmatched. So this is introducing the Emily sweater vest, a new spring essential inspired by the lady jacket with over a hundred thousand fans. Um, so last, like honestly just a couple weeks ago, they, no, I guess it was like a month ago, they sent me a cashmere lady jacket that's taupe and black and then they also sent me a cashmere gift card which is amazing to like pick out a new piece and then they just sent me this gorgeous little vest in navy and white i'm gonna take this to palm beach and there's just like a million ways to style this so i'm so excited about that and then valentino beauty i'll just show you like a little bit of pr i don't want anyone to like get annoyed because sometimes when i show too much people get annoyed um valentino beauty sent me some new blush i'm a sucker for blush we talked about it on this week's episode of the podcast i love blush um and then wheezy towels also sent me this beach bag and i did get it personalized and it says miss bows which is so cute it's like blue and white this would make for a great gift for somebody this spring um so i'm gonna take this to palm beach as well and then they also gifted me the most gorgeous robe it is this green and white color and then it has my monogram also in green i love this color it's like this super thick terry cloth material and I'm obsessed, especially for the winter. Like, love a new robe. I have another Wheezy robe, which I wear every night, especially like after the shower, and it's pink and red. It has my name on it. So, love Wheezy items. 
I think that was like, I got some other PR that's downstairs, but that was like the cool stuff. Okay, I am back in my room now, but I am gonna edit some of the reels that I shot today and make sure I load all of the products in and everything is still available. And then I think I'm gonna make my mom and I bond some mac and cheese since she's not feeling well and we have some at home and she said that that sounded good and I am obsessed with the bonds and mac and cheese. Um, so I think we're gonna make, I'm gonna have that for dinner and my dad's at a work event. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you ladies enjoyed. I'm so excited to share all of the Palm Beach content and my Palm Beach vlog. And I hope to see you at the trunk show if you're in the area. And if not, I can't wait to share all of the details. I'll talk to you ladies later. Mm -hmm.